Ken, how's it going? It's going very well. How excited are you that Killer Instinct is here? I'm, I'm super excited. I've been waiting as long as everybody else to remake my baby. Yeah. Well, let's hop into the game. Hold on. Killer Instinct. So why don't you tell me a bit about, uh, you know, what's changed in the game? How different is this from the original and two? So this feels like what we've done, and again by we, what I'm talking about is we found our great developer of friends at Double Helix, and we're yeah. working with them together to build uh, the new version of Killer Instinct. Yeah. Uh, we tried to take the best stuff from one, which again most people agree is a slightly better game. I love two. Yeah. Uh, a few things from two, but also think about what's happened to modern uh, fighting games over the last 15 years since we shipped Ki2. Uh -huh. Let me let me remap real fast. Okay. It's also a cool thing to show. Look what we've solved. <laughs> Oh yeah, there you go. That's the way it should be. And That's back to fighting. Okay, so we've got some of the obvious things, like I can do open auto finisher. And you know but how to break also, my combos yeah, now. We've also simplified the combo breaker system around, uh, in KI1, you had a third, 33% chance to break. I'm doing combos. So what happened there is I tried to break your combo and got locked out. Why don't you yes. explain that a little bit? Okay, so as I was saying, uh, in KI1, you had a 33% chance to break a combo. If you, if you did a particular auto double, two different buttons were possible to break. KI2, we went to 50-50 with punch, breaks, kick, and kicks, break, breaks, punch. This time we went back to a 33%, but we made it easier to understand. And that if I see you doing weak moves, you know, like weak punch, I break by pushing weak kick and, and weak punch at the same time. Basically the same uh, button input as a throw. Uh, what you see there with the orange mark means I timed it wrong. If you see a red exclamation mark, I was going to yeah. try and show you Sorry. through that. I'm gonna play. Um, Sorry. If you see red, it means you hit the timing right, but yeah. you, but you guessed the wrong strength. Okay. Now again, so. like like many good fighters, being able to see so an I? animation is what it's really, there. You tried to break my super linker. Okay, but I missed. But I can't break that. Nope, not right now. You can't. Oh, okay. We're in the middle of. Uh, I would say our combo breaker system is about 50% right now. We're going to okay. make it so anything can be broken under certain circumstances. Okay. It's kind of tricky to fight and talk. Yeah. Especially when you keep... Yeah, you can all oh, see. So what's the red mean? So red means I hit the timing window, right? But I thought you were doing weak. You were doing medium, I believe. Uh, okay. Like, I'm so gonna one let you of the other things up. we add is this instinct meter. Okay. You see up in the top right, yeah. uh, Jago's got a glow around him, and uh, my tattoo is glowing. I have one also. I can do two things with that. Uh -huh. I can cancel any combo and reset my uh, KV, my knockdown value, uh -huh. but each character also gets a, a benefit specific to them. Okay. In Jago's case, he's going to heal. Okay. Saber Wolf will get all big and buffed up. Go ahead and do that. Now you're going to okay. have more chip damage on everything, including regular hits, and you do more damage and your hair faster. My, I'm almost dead, so I'm going to start a combo, cancel it, yeah. reset my KV, didn't really matter because I just hit you with a super finisher, but now as long as I'm not in block stun, I'm healing. Oh, okay. So you see my life bar is starting to slowly grow. I'm getting back about 20%, oh. so I'm going to kind of play a runaway game. Do you have enough see to do an ultra? See my life bar growing? Oh, yeah. Do you have and enough to do an ultra? I can do an ultra, but I can't okay. cancel it. Okay. So there's an ultra. I could have canceled it if I saved my instinct mode for the end. Yeah. Any time before you lift off the ground, I could have canceled, okay. done more linkers, autos, and then restarted the ultra. That's how we're seeing some of these high count uh, ultra combos. Okay, cool. What's the biggest combo you can do? Uh, people are figuring that out still. We had uh, yeah. 104 in the, right here in the Mad Cats booth yesterday. Oh, wow. And again, that's by doing the longest possible combo before KV fails. Uh -huh. Start the ultra. Uh -huh. You're building up super during the ultra. So then canceling out at the last possible second, then do super linkers, autos as many as you can, more super linkers, and then restart the ultra combo. Okay, cool. Well, uh, and let's again, do a, that's not the max that you can do. Let's we'll do let a, people figure that out. Let's do a rematch, and I'm just gonna let you beat on me this time and uh, kind of show me some stuff. Okay, so one of the things we did, in KI1 it was very strict. You had to do open, auto, linker, yeah. auto, yeah. finisher. Yeah. Now we've made it so each character, again, has a different way that they can link together, actually, autos. Yeah. So Jago, it's around the world, down from fierce to weak, so I can go, I, if I can do it. So those were all autos into a finisher. Okay, so, no so that's KI1. 
No, that no K I one or two. You couldn't go auto double, auto double, auto double. Oh, okay. In, in K I one, you could only do open auto linker, auto finisher. That's okay. all you could do. But that and still exists. Can, the K I one still exists. Still exists. And again, you can piece together things all over the place. So I can do lots of two in ones. Yeah. Notice that actually opened it, so I can use that actually in a combo. I let it slip there, so I didn't get it on the counter. Okay. But close up fireballs actually can be used as openers off of two in ones. Uh -huh. So there's a lot more depth into the type of combos that you can do. So like I have, I don't have a super block for a second. Okay. Block. block. Okay. So this is gonna fill my super very fast. Oh yeah. Another thing that, we, that I've been passionate about since the beginning is let's get rid of turtles. Right? Oh yeah. Blocking. If you block, I'm filling up super meter very fast. Yeah. If I have super meter. And I'm terrible at this particular yeah. move. But you can actually throw cancel into a super. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. And juggle off it. Oh, wow. Like so. That's ridiculous. So other so, things that, again, we, we basically opened up also the juggle system. Yeah. It's fully part of the KV. So you see every time I start a combo, the KV meter starts to grow. Uh -huh. So I can only do a combo so big before on the ground you fall over. In the air, you'll spin out. So I'll be hitting you in the, uh, with an air juggle, and all of a sudden you'll see me, the opponent spin. Uh -huh. That means you can't do any more hits before you start falling over out of the air. Okay. So that, notice that the spin out happened at the end, but also how you went into the wall. Another thing we did was different end finishers and different uh -huh. linkers do different things. And if you know what's happening, position in the stage really matters. I can do end finishers that'll shoot you backwards. And again, you're almost dead. But if I just do this, see how that hit you back? Yeah. But you instantly recovered. If uh, I do that, then you're almost dead. Yeah. But if I do it against the wall, I can actually catch you on that wall bounce and continue, continue my combo. Uh, let me ask you this question. So in KI, like really high level combat, you don't actually do big combos because they can be broken. That's right. You do little unbreakable. That's right. Do those exist still? Uh, yes and no. So again, okay. I would consider it again as, as a very involved in KI 1 and 2. Yeah. That was our biggest mistake. Okay. Was that the game, at, at, and I, would, I wouldn't even say we had high level play. You, yeah. We had medium high level play. Uh -huh. At medium high level play, KI 1 and 2 devolved down to short unbreakables. Uh -huh. Because you learned how to break so easily. Yeah. So what we're and doing here turtling. is... <laughs> and a lot of turtling. Yeah. So what happens here, everything is breakable. Turtling is very punishable because you build up your, your meter so fast. And what we're showing today is the system in place for breaking auto doubles, but we have another system that's coming online. I've actually played it. It's, it's something we're just not showing in this build to break anything. And there's ways to make those break windows very small if you're the aggressor. So you can still do these kind of short, really hard to break combos. But the idea of unbreakable is gone. It's one of the reasons why there's the lockout. If I can psych you into trying a breaker, you guess wrong, I see lockout. I know I can, I'm stupid if I finish the combo there. I should use that window to do as much damage as I can. And actually, the stuff that's breakable does way more damage. Uh -huh. So it's this sort of incentive to get, keep people doing longer combos. That's where you're gonna get all the damage. You're gonna take some risk. I like one of the double helix guys' uh, analogies. High, high level fighting game is chess. We have the chess game. But the combo breaker system, we want it to be a little bit like poker. It's yeah. basically Yomi. It's like, it's a guess, but it's not. Again, as uh, David was now, uh, mentioning earlier, I have a really terrible habit of doing too many medium auto doubles. Yeah. So it's like, you don't even have to see, you're just like hover over medium, and if you see an auto double, oh bam, and more than 30% of the time, you're gonna catch me. Uh -huh. Funny enough, a lot of that is muscle memory from KI1. Uh -huh. Because I like opening with the clear swing kick, and in KI1, yeah. I had to go to medium, whether it was punch or kick. So go ahead and do it again, break with medium. Bam. There we go. So I can't, I, I gotta learn, I need to do Pierce. So now I'm locked up. So that's where it becomes kind of poker and Yomi. It's like when, when you play at high level now, you really get the ability to see. I, I know what your animations are for your weeks, yeah. for your mediums, and your Pierces. So again, that's what leads to people doing. There's, there's a nice one of those third uh, levels again. But it's what leads to people doing short unbreakables. Well, I like the idea of, no, you need to kind of both see what I'm doing, but also yeah. you need to have kind of a pre-awareness, a yomi, a guess, yeah. but a guess with education. Ken does too many effing mediums. Right. Is, is there a visual distinction between your uh, your linkers? Like, does he is the animation a little different? There will be. Okay. And again, that's part of the advanced uh, uh -huh. breaker system that's not in the build today. Yeah. 
I look forward to one of the things that we're doing around the announce of the game yeah. is come to E3, show two characters, announce a third. Uh -huh. So it's show Saber, show Jago, announce Glacius. Yeah. Go to Evo. You'll be able to play Jago, and you'll be able to play Saber, and you'll be able to play Glacius, and we'll announce the fourth character. And then go to the next time we show the game, we'll same again, announce the fifth, go to the next thing, uh, okay. et cetera, et cetera. Let me ask you this. Are we going to see characters from KI1 and 2? These are both KI1 and 2, but yes. And Sorry. again, we also are building... Characters that were specific to KI2. Of course. Okay, cool. And again, what we want to do, we've got, uh -huh. we've got the initial set planned. Yeah. I'm deeply passionate about the fighting game community and getting their input. Yeah. One of the things that's awesome about uh, Xbox One is uh -huh. our stats platform. We're, yeah. We can track win-loss records, damage amounts, uh -huh. what things do people use uh -huh. in, in uh, to open combos? Are there any things that are causing things that would force people to go to only unbreakables, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera? Uh -huh. But we can also get feedback from the community. What, what character do you want next? Yeah. And as we go into the next few shows, we're going to start having those conversations pretty, about... Pretty sure the answer is full door. <laughs> I think the answer is Riptor. Riptor, really? That's just one of my favorites. Sorry. Riptor! God damn it. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't say we're doing Riptor, I said, <laughs> I'm a fan, saying, I really would love to see Riptor. So Riptor confirmed for Evo 2013. Uh, no, we're not announcing Riptor 2013, <laughs> that I can say. <laughs> oh, okay. And again, honestly. It's Process like, of elimination, that's what we'll do today. So I'm the creative director for you know all the publishing at Microsoft, yeah. but I don't, I've told these guys this, uh -huh. I'm an educated voice. Uh -huh. I don't want to be the boss. Uh -huh. right? Even though I signed, it's like, I'm just a fighting game fan, and, and what I really want is an equal voice in the room. But yeah. if a billion people say, why the hell would you want Riptor, excuse my language, yeah. then maybe we don't see Riptor, or at least don't see him for a long time. Yeah. See, I just canceled the top attack into a super fireball before you block the top attack. Yeah, that was pretty cool. So there's a lot of stuff in this game. I mean, one of the things that I'm really proud about the way Double Helix nailed it is this game is fast. And by yeah. fast, I don't mean how fast the combos go. I mean input speed. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the game is running at 60 frames a second. Yeah. But this game moves. The latency between button press and, and motion on the screen mm -hmm. is as fast as any game I've ever seen. And it really makes it feel you know, modern and fluid. And again, I'm a huge fan of my old babies, but I I've been fun. It's been surprising to me how going back to that feels slow. Is, is this going to be a, have a single player experience or is it all multiplayer? Of course, you have practice and yes, uh -huh. we have single player. Uh, so like, are we going to see boss characters like Idol? Not right away. No? Okay. We are focused on, let's spend all of our energy on the fight. Yeah. And on things that are going to make the fight better. Uh, yeah. Okay. Missed my cool super uh, dragon that I'm going to do at the end there. Cool. I'm going to hop in as Jago, switch out my character, and yep. uh, let's just throw some fireballs at each other and show uh, all the particle yes. effects and everything. Yes. Uh, you got to go to select. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. If one of us hits select, we go back. Oh, okay. There we go. So uh, what kind of character customization? We have two colors right now. Is there any more uh, going to be available? Yeah, we haven't announced anything, but we'll be doing skins and other obvious things. Come on, throw your fireball. I like oh. particles. Right? Yeah, there we go. Look at all of them. Particles. The best thing about the particles isn't just that they splash. Notice they're flowing off of me. we got particles yeah. with collision. So they're coming off my shoulder. They're bouncing uh. off my feet. They stay and then uh, they persist in the world. And of course, fireball is blocked. Go ahead and block. Okay. The blue particle effect. Yep. Okay, then fireball. And of course, we have a way to get through that. Ah. Does the Saber Wolf have a way to get through that? Of he's course. A different type Saber of Wolf actually can run and jump over them or run and dive under them. Okay. So a fireball at distance, again, we want to stop people from turtling. Yeah. So a fireball is an awesome tool from sort of a mid range or two and one from very close like that which you snapped out of, very nice. Uh -huh. So how do I cancel that though? Like that? Like if I do the uppercut, how do I do the cancel? Just do the move. Do That's it again? early in the frames. Just like that. Oh, uh, okay, cool. So there you cancel the fierce punch into the kick uh -huh. and then cancel the kick into the fireball. Again, okay, very cool. snappy and quick. Just like that. With super is the best way to do it. So if you get like 
Oh, now I can burn my Superman. Throw a fireball, now Dragon Punch. Oh, I tried to. I screwed it up. But yes, all that stuff works. How do, how do you do the shadow move? Shadow moves are just yeah. like EX. Okay. So, so like, build meter. Yeah. So let me block. Throw some fireballs. Or that is so, moves. that builds so fast. Yeah. We want to so make, like, we wanna make the, the super moves, or the shadow moves we're calling them. That's, there you go. That's a huge part of the game. And, and again, I like to... And they nailed this. I didn't even have to ask. Yeah. You know, put things in that cause good behavior. Bad behavior is turtling. Yeah. So <laughs> if I turtle a little bit, holy crap, you got two guards. Yeah. And that stuff does really powerful chip damage. So even if you're just throwing super fireballs at me while I block, it's like, yeah, big mistake. Don't block. Fight. Yeah. That's a really interesting way to get players to stop turtling because that's like what people really don't like that much. And uh, you know, it, again, forces them, it forces you to play. Yeah, but what's important yeah. is blocking is important. Yeah. So you also want to make sure that blocking is an effective technique. But I think blocking just comes off again as a piece of the Yomi puzzle. Yeah. It's like, when should I block? When is it okay for me to have you get a little bit of meter? It's just as important like that. I'll wait for you to do something that I can go through or that I can catch you on your recovery is a big part of the game as well. Here, build some meter on me if you can. I want you. To, I want to see your ultra. It doesn't do that much chip. Nope. Oh, nice. Cancel and blow it. <laughs> Sorry, I've been playing so many games, my hand is falling off. That's all right. We can try it again. Yep. Uh, do you have a little more time? I gotta run. All right. Well, thank you very much for showing us Killer Instinct, Ken. Uh, it's awesome getting to meet you after all these years. And, totally uh, my pleasure. Yeah, and for more on Killer Instinct, keep it on IGN. Sounds good. Have fun, all. Watch the mic, Ken.